Hi, and welcome to the Beer Temple. I am Chris Quinn. I am joined for the second time in a row by my lovely wife, Margaret Hall uh, Quinn. He's done that. Quite That's a at least times, the third time yeah. I've done that. Uh, yeah. So hello, everyone. And also panning from the cheap seats. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Panting from the yeah. very cheap seats at our feet. Yeah, Maximus Quinn. I got his maiden name right. <laughs> uh, um, so today we have uh, a show that I am certainly excited for. I know I always say that, but I usually am serious when I say that. Uh, no, I always am. But uh, definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, three beers from Firestone Walker out of California, uh, from Paso Robles, California, a little bit south of San Francisco. One of the breweries that unfortunately we didn't get a chance to go to on our North California trip. I would have loved to. It just didn't work out. Um, <clears throat> but I honestly just find myself fortunate to have them in the Chicago market now. Yeah, you're right. That's true. Uh, yeah. Um, they make great beers. They're one of those breweries that I'm confident to say doesn't make a bad beer. Um, and some of their special beers and even some of their year-round beers are just world class. Uh, they are especially known for <clears throat> their hoppy beers. Um, and I, we have here, we have their IPA, their double IPA, and then a little bit different, we've got a, a very special release they do once a year, their barrel-aged uh, Russian Imperial Stout called Parabola. So Union Jack, Double Jack, and Parabola. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted just to, for those of you who know Firestone, I don't need to really go into this, but even if you do know how many accolades they've won. Um, I, I was just looking at some of the awards these guys have won, um, and I'm just talking about pale ales here. So either American Pale Ale, India Pale Ale, there's something called Strong Style Pale Ale. <clears throat> so in 2008, at the Great American Beer Fest, they won a gold for Union Jack and a gold for the uh, American Pale Ale, Mission Street Pale, mm -hmm. which is the Trader Joe's beer, which they brew. So you guys, if you don't have um, Firestone Walker, but you do have Trader Joe's, go and try to find some of this Mission Street Pale. Uh, won gold medal, American Pale Ale, in 2008. And these are highly contested um, categories here. You know, we're not talking about, you know, Brazilian-style fruit beer or something <laughs> like that. <clears throat> so um, in uh, 2009, Union Jack repeated gold for IPA, which these are blind tastings. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that someone could uh, repeat. And the American Pale Ale, they won a bronze. Mm -hmm. 2010, IPA, they won a silver for their Nectar series, which they just sold, by the way. Um, and a gold for American Pale Ale, Mission Street, won wow. a gold. This last year, they won Midsize Brewery of the Year. They won a gold and a silver for American Pale Ale, Mission Street being uh, one of them, and a gold for the Union Jack. Wow. Double Jack, I'm sorry. Double uh, Jack, yeah. Gold. So, World Beer Cup, um, 04, gold and silver American Pale Ale, Sil silver, strong American Pale Ale. 06, gold and silver American Pale Ale, gold, strong American Pale Ale. So, again, they just are basically sweeping up. 08, they want a silver for Union Jack and a silver for Strong Pale Ale. 10, 2000, they do it every two years, yeah. the World Beer Cup. So 2010, gold and bronze American Pale Ale and a bronze for Amer International Pale Ale. No idea what that is. And then this last year, which just happened a couple months ago, gold for International Pale Ale, gold and silver for American Pale Ale. So it's safe to say that they are very highly <laughs> it, it regarded? It seems almost impossible yeah. for of so many beers, blind tasting, different judges, having no idea that just consistently these guys just bang, 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 bang. So I, That's I, why you were really excited to do this show. Yeah. Now, we get the Mission Street Pale from Trader Joe's. We don't get their Pale 31, which is um, their regular pale that's available in six packs. We do get the Un Union mm -hmm. Jack IPA. So um, that's what we're going to start with here. Um, it is, uh, well, it says right here, 2004, 2006, 2010. Uh, <laughs> champion for this beer. So, so. They, they, don't, uh, they don't demur yeah. away from any of those accolades. Either. Hey, I wouldn't either. Of course. So the Union Jack um, uses a lot of those West Coast style IPAs. This is definitely a typical West Coast style pale ale. This was uh, brewed or bottled, I should say, on um, 
uh, June 12th. It is now um, July 17th or 18th, 18th is it? <laughs> it's the 18th. 18th, so just over a month old, very fresh here. Um, and you know, kudos to them for putting the bottling date very clearly right on the label. Yeah, make it, they make it very easy to know, you know, when the when the beer mm -hmm. was brewed or bottled. Yeah, so we'll just uh, pour a nice amount in here, crystal clear. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I'd say like a medium gold color. I'd say a medium gold medium. with a lot of orange hues to it. Yeah. Um, really nice kind of fluffy head. I mean, just that little bit we've mm -hmm. poured. You've got a, a nice little thin film of, of head, yeah. a kind of rocky, and uh, mm -hmm. sticking around for, for a little while. There's something really interesting in, in the nose. Mm -hmm. I mean, it smells, it smells fizzy. I know that's impossible. Fizzy is not a smell. Well, you can get their carbonic acid, maybe, I think has a slight smell to it but I'm not sure that that's what you're getting, but maybe you are. I mean, like to me, it's it's like, I don't know. You, it smells really effervescent. I mean, I'm getting really a, fresh. I'm getting a, like a candied citrus flavor to it. Um, almost like you're getting from a, well, some sort of like, I don't know, like a, a Laffy Taffy or a Bottle Caps or something like that, like the, the, the lemony ones or the orange ones, I should say. Uh, there's definitely a, a citrus bordering on tropical nose here as well. Um, you know, the, some of that mango, papaya, not quite to like pineapple or something like that. Yeah, I get some tropical fruits out of it. I mean, mm -hmm. to me, it, it, it reminds me a lot of like those lemon uh, Italian sodas that you get at, uh -huh. uh, you know, Whole Foods or something like that, like a carbonated, uh, you know, citrus soda. Uh-huh. But there's a little bit of depth to it as yeah. well. Yeah. So it's a little deeper, um, a little bit of kind of that resinous. It's mm -hmm. not earthy or woody at all, but just kind of like a, a resinous, like nectar smell to it as well. Um, a really like kind of deep fruit smell. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, I'm listening. And, and, We're talking about your job, I'm I, interested. As I, usually, as I usually do, I've just gotten straight to the drinking. Pretty darn good. Um, it's it's got a, a lot of hop flavor, but not a ton of bitterness. I don't think. I mean, it's it's like it's got like a sharpness to it, though. Um, let me take another sip. Yeah, the hops are absolutely the showcase here. From mm -hmm. the first sip, you get like I was talking in the previous show that kind of feeling. You can almost feel the hop matter on your teeth. Um, you you get that followed by a really nice lighter hop character to it, like a fruitiness uh, to it, much closer to the aroma. You're getting some of that orange, lemon, um, and almost like a candied citrus flavor as well. Very dry, so it's a thin mouthfeel, much yeah. um, thinner than some other IPAs, especially kind of uh, East Coast IPAs that are much more malt driven. This is very dry it's and very, very light. Very dry. In yeah. fact, it makes my tongue feel a little like tingly or something like that. Like it's almost like tannic, like a wine would be. Well, you can get that from some, sometimes hops will, mm -hmm. will give that. Um, they will. You know, if you're dry hopping these beers, which they dry hop the hell out of these beers, you know, some of the tannins from the hop cone can be leached into the beer. So they can get a little bit um, tannic and a little bit, um, oh my goodness, what's the word for drying? Astringent? Astringent, yeah. jeez. <laughs> yeah, they, so it does become a little bit astringent. I'm not quite getting astringency here. Maybe a hint of tannins. Um, as you go, the, the bitterness does build though, slowly. Yeah. So yeah. right now, as you talk, so bitterness is one of the flavors that takes the longest for you to be able to sense. Because, and this is according to Randy Mosher, it's one of the most complex flavors. So your brain is literally still trying to decipher what's going on. It's always sitting on your tongue, but it can't compute to what it is until much after some of the more basic flavors. I believe pretty much anything Randy Mosher tells me, so <laughs> uh, I gotta go with that one. I, I hear he believes in Yetis. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just mm, saying. I don't think... <laughs> okay. Yeti episode. Watch it. Um, yeah, so this is really nice. Um, and we were talking about the hop rot. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go on. Uh, I was going to get ready to rate it. Yeah, so for the hop rod rye, we were talking about how that's your style beer. 
This is my style of beer. Okay. I like these dry West Coast style IPAs, and this is about as good a one as I can remember having. It's not, it's still very well put together. It's still, you still get a little bit of that kind of biscuity malt, just enough. It's not overly bitter, and there's such awesome hop flavor that I love it. I love it. Um, I love it. Uh, 91, I think, for me. Um, it, it's it's good. It's good. It's mm. really solid. I mean, it's just, it, it's, you know, delicious. Not my favorite style, right. um, but, yeah, it's good. It's like a bitter orange gumdrop for me. So, I, oh, man, mm. I, I love it. Um, I'm going to go 95 with the, the Union Jack. I mean, for an everyday IPA yeah. coming in at 11 99 for a six-pack, I cannot think of a better one that I would have. I can think of ones that I like just as much. You know, there's the the um, the Bell's Two Hearted's of yeah. the world and stuff like that. But I put this right up there with any other IPA. Yeah, I agree. It is awesome. It's really 95 good. for me. Yeah, really good. Gets you really high. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the big boy now, uh, the Double Jack, the reigning double IPA winner for the Great American Beer Fest. Um, and it's this, like so fancy that you have to unwrap it. Yeah, you have to unwrap it. It's like a Christmas present or a Hanukkah present. And uh, I'm trying to think. So this is 7.5% alcohol. What's the uh, double jack? 9.5%. Big beer. Big beer. Um, this beer is um, three weeks old, I think. Wow. Two and a half, three weeks old. So really, really fresh again. Yeah. Uh, this one isn't printed on the label, but it's on the neck, um, so. So correct me if go. I'm wrong, I think we, I might have identified a little bit of a trend um, for the last couple shows. Firestone Walker, don't they have a wine uh, background, a wine history? Yes, absolutely, they are from wine country. There is like a Firestone Vineyards right. out there, and it is a trend out there in Northern California, Russian River being a big example of that. Uh, they came from a winemaking background. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, um, I, th I think they have it on here. Yeah. Adam Firestone, David Walker, and then Matt Brynelson is their uh, head, their brewmaster. Right. Matt Brynelson is like a master of hops. I mean, he knows the different, the names of the different hop compounds and what flavors they have. And he kind of puts them together like a master chef. It's pretty cool. Cool. Can you tell I'm a fanboy of yeah, Firestone? Yeah, I can tell you're geeking um, And the geeking Firestone hard. is from like Firestone Tires. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember hearing that. To me, it was always one of the things. Like, I wasn't sure if that was like an urban legend. Like, people were just making the connection mm. because of the name, you know. Like, I can't say that I've ever like actually studied that. Studied that, but I'm I'm pretty sure that it's yeah. I mean, it's legit. a pretty unique name. I mean, I could definitely see how it could be. Um, I just knew a little bit about like their their wine background. I didn't connect mm -hmm. the tires right. background. And you got some people going the other way. So like um, Anchor and the Maytags. Mm -hmm. Well, they went from cheese to beer, to wine now, and they're also doing some spirits. Well, that's like New Holland, too. They, they have quite a spirits lineup. Yeah. That's cool. And nectar. Mm. Um, so this beer is, again, brilliantly clear. Orange. Uh, um, um, orange. Whenever you I say know, orange. We're, we're saying it wrong. Whenever now, I say like, orange, it doesn't sound right. The orange, word is orange, orange, people. Just don't. <laughs> Don't sleep on the correct pronunciation. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit darker, though. Um, it's got a little bit more orange than the other one did. And uh, and this one even has more of a hop nose to it. Um, you know, just, oh, man. W without a it, doubt. It, it's like, again, I'm, I'm using the brewery tour reference because I guess that's in my head right now. But, like, it smells like, you know, when they at the brewery tour when they give you, like, the handful of hops to smell. That's exactly Even more what so. I mean, sometimes, like. sometimes you, you smell these beers... And they smell hoppier than when you stick your hand in a, in a, in a, your nose in a handful of hops. I don't know how they do that. I've, I've been trying to do it in my own homebrew. Um, yeah. I don't know how. That's something I have not figured out yet. Yeah. But it's, it's more hoppier than when you smell a hop. Um, they, they really kind of extract all those essential uh, those oils from it. And man, now this is more hoppier. At it's more hoppier. Uh, Russ, uh, you're going to enjoy that uh, grammar. Um, more hoppier. I think that... I stand by that grammar. That that should be the, the title of the show, More Hoppier. How much 
Well, the question is, how much more hoppier can this be? And the answer is none. <laughs> none, none more hoppier. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> this is definitely getting into the full-blown tropics. Um, it's got the citrus and the tropics, papaya, mango, pineapple. Um, it also has, you know, the kind of dank qualities as well. <laughs> you're, you're on a roll. What? <laughs> you are loving this show. Yeah, this beer is good. I can already tell I'm going to love this beer. <laughs> you're already like, <laughs> can't wait to try it. Yeah. Man, yeah, it's got those dank qualities. Right, drink it. I, I don't want to. This is an air freshener beer for me. Mm. If they could make this scent yeah, into a right. car air freshener, I would buy it. Yeah, you're you're much more like, you know, I mean, you're totally sold on the smell of a beer. I mean, to mm -hmm. me, I think, well, for you, actually, I think that uh, the the nose of a beer is almost more, more important than the taste oftentimes. I'd say it's it, it can be 50% of the beer yeah. for me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is delicious. Um, this beer is so friggin' good. It's so good. Why don't, why, don't, why don't you just share your feelings with us? Tell us how you, you feel. You know what? I'm not quite sure how I feel about this beer, other than that it's awesome. Carry on. I declare this beer to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, man, we are just dropping random references and inside jokes <laughs> nonstop. If you guys can pick out any of the references, write them down. And, a little bit uh, like a contest or something. Yeah, and I'll, I'll send someone something fun. Mm -hmm. so, so just just go because I'm just I should, riff, man. Go just, just riff. I'm gonna it's I'm another gonna just joke. sit back here with my beer. Just riff because clearly. So if you want the American West Coast Double IPA Pliny the Elder style mm -hmm. beer, this is the one to to get. It is. It's a perfect example. It is very nice and dry. It has so much hop flavor and character to it. It is not overly bitter. It is just like you're chewing on fresh like herbs and tropical fruits and not even tropical fruits, but like I said, like the nectars of these fruits without the sweetness. So it's like, it's just almost like a concentrate. Um, yeah. I love this beer. I, I think for you, you know, when you compare it to Pliny the Elder, that actually struck a chord with me because I think yeah. you're absolutely right. I mean, I think this beer stands up to that. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's really, really nice and really well done. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just, like juicy fruit bubble gum and. But I mean, it, it really just is, it's like you're taking everything that's good about hops and bottling it. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. So, I mean, how high do you rate this beer? Um, I think I gave, what did I give the Lagunitas Hop Stupid? I probably gave that a 96 or something like that or a 95. Um, you know, that's an awesome beer, and it's four fifty a bottle, and it's great. This is this is only I think six ninety nine a bottle. Oh wow, great deal. Yeah, um, ninety eight. I'll go ninety five. I mean, I think this is really really delicious. You know what? Maybe even ninety five plus. You know, I think I enjoy this. Well, I was giggling like a schoolgirl when I drank the hop hop rod rye uh -huh. so i wasn't quite to that extent but this is great 96 maybe you know it's yeah. great um cool well all right let's see if this can live up to it so we've got uh here i like how the packaging just in, like it's it's a box yeah they, but no i like how they like increase the level of packaging as yeah. they proceed Oh, oh, oh. Now, now it's really special. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, leave that over there. There you go. Push it off camera. Uh, this is Parabola. This beer started as an ingredient for their anniversary beer. I believe. I think. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Yeah, so they have the big Firestone. Um, for the last five years, they've been putting out anniversary beers. The most recent was 15. And usually their Imperial Stout and their barley wine, known as Abacus or Sukaba, um, is the major components of it. But they do, like, you know, special one-off brews. They'll put maybe some double jacket. I mean, they'll do all sorts of crazy stuff. They're, it's definitely like a, a cuvee. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is one of the most notorious, or not notorious, um, beloved ingredients 
of their anniversary beer so they would make it available on draft only. It's very similar to how New Belgium sometimes does that with their sours. Okay. They'll take some of the ingredient beers and mm -hmm. make them. So it got a cult following and they began to bottle it as Parabola. Okay. And they might have had a name for it uh, ahead of time, but it's a 100% barreled Russian Imperial Stout. Not all bourbon barrel like you get in um, uh, Goose Island. So it's got some bourbon barrel, it's got some wine barrel, it's got some um, of the previous year's anniversary beer. Like they just use all sorts, they barrel it and a whole bunch of different stuff and then they blend it together and it's its own cuvee that they then use for the anniversary and it becomes so meta that it's, you know, the hipsters love it. Um, it's in the past, it ages very well. And I have said before, it's one of the few Imperial Stouts I feel can stand toe to toe with Bourbon County, mm. which is my hands down that's, that's favorite. A, uh, that's, that's a tall order then. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we'll see, we'll see yeah. if, it's, if it's the case here. You're, you're talking pretty big now. Yeah. Um, but I'm giddy as a schoolgirl to uh, yeah, quote. Yeah, you really are. To quote yeah. uh, Ebenezer, Dickens. Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think he said schoolboy, though, because, yeah. <laughs> he probably did say that, so I guess it's to paraphrase. <laughs> you just you just quoted me. Actually. No, I guess I you quoted... Quote, you quoted me from five minutes ago, because I said I was l giggling like a schoolgirl. Well, I'm... Uh... Um, I think I was quoting Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey. I Another think, reference. Well, uh, like, so now, now, now like it's a, a mashup of references. It's yeah. me, it's Ebenezer Scrooge, and it's Dumb and Dumber. We're basically, uh, who's that mashup artist? He's called Girl something. Girl... Uh, I don't know. I don't, the kids know that shit. I don't. I don't know what yeah, you're talking the about. The tweens. The tweens. You yeah. tweens who are watching, don't drink. But tell me what's the name of that mashup, dude? <laughs> it's like Girl Time. It's a name of a board game for little girls from the 80s that you probably played. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember it. I totally remember that. You yeah. You and your two sisters played. Okay. Jet Black. In fact, we weren't paying attention when we poured. I'm going to pour a little more. Sorry, guys. Um, it's got, it's the last one. So very viscous, uh, but not, not motor oil level. When no, you're absolutely it. not. Sometimes no. you pour and it's almost like syrupy. Yeah, no. Um, you can actually like see all. the highlight of the beer while you're pouring mm. it. Uh, a very dark brown. Um, this beer is jet black. There is at the very, very edges you can see just a bit of dark brown. Um, but this beer is black with a very like uh, light brown sugar head to it. Uh, sticks around. All these beers have had really good head retention, I've noticed. So I'm going to dive in and smell the it. The nose on this is pretty incredible. Uh, pretty, it, pretty, pretty incredible. <laughs> that's an inside joke that no one will get. Oh, well, that's um, what I think that one someone will get. Now I'm now I'm purposely <laughs> trying to put in as many little references as I can. Uh, no, but it it's it's really great. Uh, it's oh, man. it's like Oof. I mean it's it's like to me it's like a mocha. Um, it's coconut. like a great, yeah, mocha, coconut, it's rum, like, raisin. It's like, it's like you went into like a coffee shop and just said, yeah, give me like whatever, like the most delicious and over the top, you know, mixed coffee drink you can possibly think up. And they just put and a bunch of- And then throw rum in it. Yeah. Put, yeah exactly. <laughs> or whiskey. Make sure there's booze in it. Um, yeah, but it does like coconut, you know, it's, it's mocha, it's chocolatey. Um, a little bit of like maybe like really dark cherry, yeah. like a, some sort of cherry- like like uh, whiskey soaked cherries, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely getting a uh, fruit in here. Mm -hmm. um, mm. I'm loving that coconut. You're also getting wood and barrel. And, You're getting well, the straight up barrel as well. Going back to my coffee house reference, vanilla. I mean, it's just like you know, wonderful like vanilla coconut. Yeah. Ah, it's just great. It's just hitting. It's hitting like tons of different. Yeah. Um, cords or whatever. Yeah, yeah, just really nice and rich, dark. Mm -hmm. And this is a beer that you could continue to smell and continue to pull things out of. Um, Margaret would rather just guzzle. So yeah, I would rather just taste the beer. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Um, it also tastes like one of the most delicious coffee drinks that you could possibly think of yeah. in, a, in a coffee house. 82 IBUs. But you don't get it, right? Because it's so sweet. Uh, so we were talking about well, before I, bitterness versus, oh, um, you know, yeah. you know, gravity units. Well, I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, it's it's got sweetness in it, but it's definitely not sweet. I mean, to me, it's just smooth and like that. 
you know. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's, well, there's a lot of sugars in here, but that 82 IBU. Right. You get a little bit of that, out. like, you know, at, at the very tail end, you do get some bitterness and stuff like that, but it's really, really smooth. 12.5%. Wow. Big beer. You get some of the burn. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end, you get a really nice warming quality in the back, your throat. I'm not really getting it here, maybe just a little bit. Not so much here. No, no, no one's going to get that one. But, um, so. But, it, but it's not are we an. It's drunk. I mean, <laughs> we're acting like we are. Um, We're definitely giddy like schoolboys. Um, school children. School children. Uh, no, uh, I'm really sensitive to the burn, uh, but the burn is not, you know, offending me. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, to me, that means it's it's not, you know, significant burn. Um, it's just like I said, it's pretty smooth to me. Yeah. Um, God, this beer is so good. It is very good. I'll say. Not having the bourbon counter in front in front of me, the bourbon county in front of me, it it seems to stand up. Yeah. I'm it, not gonna say it's better than Bourbon County, but I think it's a very you know, if that if Bourbon County was sick for the day and the substitute teacher was parabola, I, I don't think I would mind one bit. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think uh it's giving Bourbon County a run for its money. Uh you know I won't go that far, but well, I mean, I think it's just really good. I mean, yeah, they, keep it on its toes. We'll put it that exactly. way. Exactly. Like, the, yeah. the, there's some there's some significant competition uh, yeah. to to that you know genre um, with the parabola. Yeah. Um, wow. What did I give this? Ninety seven. Yeah. I think that's a ninety seven too. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's a ninety seven. Wow. This might be. I think this is by far one of the highest for rated me the shows. highest rated single brewery show yeah. we've ever done. Yeah. Um, and like I said before, I mean, this is a brewery that just does not make bad stuff. And Man, we're going to have a lot of great beer open tonight. And hopefully you do too. <laughs> yeah, Goodbye. We're not, we're not ending yet. <laughs> yeah. we, luckily, we have some people coming over so they can uh, Yes, and those people are lucky. Mm -hmm. um, hey, guys, if you have these beers, if you have the means, I highly recommend you pick them up. They're so choice. Uh, it's really been a a pleasure to to kind of describe these beers and just to be able to drink them obviously um, we're uh, believe it or not we're not drunk we're just I think happy uh, but I, I I think there should be some sort of contest for somebody who can pick out all the various references from this show um, you'll get a prize so email us. yeah we'll give you a prize we'll give you something fun yeah we'll give you something really max. cool we'll give you max yeah we'll give you max mm -hmm. um, we'll be as giddy as a school dog <laughs> 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 no, but I mean, th I think that would be worthwhile if somebody can actually start picking through some of this stuff. And it, and and there's probably some people who need to be exempt from that competition. Hmm. No, no exemptions. All right. So there you have it, guys. We had a, I had a blast uh, shooting this show. I always really, I mean, I like doing the shows by myself, but it is very fun to do it with my wife as well. It is um, fun to do it with your wife. That wasn't a reference. That was just <laughs> dirty. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, uh, now I'm blushing. Um, keep the comments coming in. As I said before, we are um, very well represented on iTunes. You guys have really done an awesome job uh, in telling everybody else out there on iTunes how much you like the show. Um, really, that does... Maybe I do, Margaret laughs, but you know, it does mean a lot to me. Uh, I do talk about just, you know, how awesome it is that you guys take the time to, to tell me what you think about the show, good or bad. I mean, if you said the show was a total train wreck, just shut up and talk about the beer and then get off the air, hey, Fair I can appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so just tell me what you think, good, bad, indifferent. Um, as long as it's constructive, don't just hate. Haters, you know. We brush them Later off. for that, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, thanks, guys. We have had, like I said, a blast. We've got some amazing world-class beers to drink, and I really hope that you do, too.